Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Miami Dolphins. Here today we're going to be talking about a very interesting uh, topic. Now, I would like to say before we get into this video, I love Jay Ajayi, and I think he should definitely get his chance to start the whole season because I think he is a very, very talented, talented young player. But I also think we do need some veteran leadership. And, you know, it's as a running back, you need that experience, especially in our division where we have some very, very tough defenses and we definitely need the pressure uh, to be taken off of Ryan Tannehill in terms of like pass protection and stuff like that to have that veteran kind of leadership and who can understand a playbook a little bit faster and maybe uh, feels a little bit more natural to that player if you know what I mean so it would be beneficial if we did add a veteran player now like I said I do love JJ uh this I don't think this would affect JJ getting probably most of the snaps but uh today we got some interesting news from pro, pro football focus where they said uh, no Sean Moreno is very interested in returning to football, and I love No Sean. Obviously, he destroyed the Patriots in a very, very physical way, uh, and uh, it was just awesome to watch. But he said, I plan on coming back. I feel good. I feel healthy. I'm fully recovered, so I'm doing the things I have to do right now, just staying in shape, and we'll see where things go. Now, <clears throat> He has said that he is interested in turning to the Broncos or Dolphins, uh, so I think he definitely has a way, way more of a chance of returning to to Miami than he would to Denver, obviously, because Denver has a new, uh, pretty crowded backfield with C.J. Anderson, who they just got back, paid him his money, and Devin Booker, who they just drafted. So that's probably not going to happen. He has more of a chance to come over here with my in to, uh, in, obviously, to join the Dolphins. Okay, so now let's go to the other side of this, and Arian Foster. Now, Arian Foster, obviously one of the smoothest run smoothest runners of all time, probably the closest thing to Gale Sayers we've ever had since Gale Sayers uh, retired way back in the day. But he says, uh, obviously he would be, uh, he fits everything we we're trying to do in Adam Gate. He's so versatile and can, one of the, obviously, one of the smoothest runners, one of the most smartest players, smartest backs in the league, one of the best backs in the league. Uh, so for a very, very long time, and has a better has has a better career than uh, No Shamarino. Both backs do get injured a lot, which is something common between the two. But I, again, we would not need them to carry a huge heavy load, especially in Adam Gase's offense. So he says, I probably need another month to get where I am. The person everyone is used to seeing, Foster. Uh, I can definitely play, but I need another month to be where I want to be to play at that Pro Bowl level I know I can play at. So, I obviously, Arian has already had ties to Miami. He's already talked to us about coming back. He says he doesn't want to sign anything until, obviously, he feels like he can play at that Pro Bowl level. Uh, me, personally, if I had to choose between the two, <clears throat> I would definitely choose Arian. One, he hasn't been away from football for a whole season. Uh, even though he did get hurt, he still went through OTAs and training camp and stuff like that. So he's used to the grind. Uh, and I obviously, I love Aaron Foster is a better football player than No Sean Moreno is. Even though No Sean Moreno hasn't really got to show us that uh, it, uh, since his injury plagued um, years. But if Aaron Foster doesn't get hurt, he's a Hall of Famer. So as much as he has. So again, neither of the running backs would have to carry a huge load. Uh, obviously, because we have the young backs, J.H.I. and Kenyon Drake, so it would definitely be probably a running back by committee. And that is going to be you guys. I'm Skyx1383. Leave down in the comment section below who you would pick, and I will see you guys in the next one. Aaron has 10 fourth quarter comebacks. Andrew Luck has 10 fourth, qu fourth quarter comebacks. And Ryan Tannehill has 9 fourth quarter comebacks. He also holds the record for consecutive completions with 24.